that's your comfort totems, your new comfort totems. What about immortality? <laughs> Coke adds life. So, rather than drinking a Coke to represent immortality, realize it is a spiritual concept and address it in a spiritual way. The body is temporary, really, really. All of us are going to die. All of our bodies are going to just one day not be here. So what can you do if you're addressing immortality? Um, literally, reach back, or I should say forward, two or three generations. The older you get, the easier this gets. So I'm 64, so I can easily reach three generations away, say to a three-year-old or four-year-old and show them some caring and some kindness. And that would contribute to making myself immortal. Those little kids, when they grow up, will say, hey, you know, there's this old lady, and she was really nice to us, and we played water games in her backyard. So immortality, if you can just do something for a member at least two generations away from you, so in my case, being 64, that would be doing something for someone who's 20 or younger. And when you think about that, that actually gets you out of the house. Because <laughs> these people are not just sitting around the house. You're like, oh, where are they? So because of today's family structure, you have to actually get out the house to meet these people. And for me, uh, doing gymnastics has only been a wonderful way to meet people who are under 20 and to communicate positively with them and encourage them and do nice things for them. So